Ciao. Okay. Cardi is about sick of offset, honey. She went all the way off. And at this point, what she is upset with, apparently it appears that the two of them are going back and forth. They're arguing. Um, he's upset that she's moved on and that she's dating. And her response is basically like, hey, it ain't no fun when the rabbit's got the gun that I have taken all of this cheating and foolishness from you. So that, there we go. I've taken all this cheating and foolishness from you. And here you are now wanting to cut up and act a fool with me. And she said, I'm not having it. Specifically, what has really pissed Offset off is that apparently Cardi done found her another man and she done let that man nut all over that little baby's head in her belly, okay? She got that baby in her belly. Her new man is nutting all on that baby's head, okay? And she is not ashamed of it. Look at this, y'all. So this was her in the live. In her live, she's going on about how she's moved on. Offset said, you effed with a baby inside your belly. Tell the truth. Ciao. Then she posts a message that says, and did, and did, I sure did, and did. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. So she says, and did as though like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? Which really pissed him off even more. Here we go. Yep. You did this with a baby inside. And did. It's like a ghetto soap opera, y'all. It's like a ghetto soap opera. It's the, oh, this poor baby. I hope he look like Offset. I don't know what happens when you do that. I don't know if do the jeans mix up or I don't know. I don't exactly know how to do it. But so that was kind of the origin of this argument. But she says, you know what? You mess with my friends. And I can't play the video because she's cussing so much. But she's basically saying, you mess with my friends, you mess with my ops, at least I'm loyal to you in that I would not mess with your ops or any of that. And I just wanted to take this video back to just track what was going on. Now, the two of them were dating. I'm sorry, they were married uh, during the pandemic. And I have here on the, oops, on the screen, where was it? Here we are. I'm going to put up, y'all, I got her little divorce documents. We're going to put them back up. Her divorce is, let me say, it should be right here. Um, oh, it should be here. Here we go. And there we are. All right, so back in 2020, Cardi B was about sick of his cheating, sick of his behavior. And so she decided, here we are, she decided to file for divorce from Offset. Now, this was filed in September of 2020. In it, she claims there's irreconcilable differences. She states that she, you know, she wants to divorce from him, blah, blah, blah. They're a resident. Um, this is a pretty standard divorce filing. Not too much special in there. But what was interesting that I wanted you to see, she files this in September and states that they only have one child together because at the time they did, and then dismisses it in November, three months later. At, during the course of this, remember, she had the concert where he comes on stage at, during her concert with flowers, like trying to bear her back, like, baby, baby, please take me back. Take me back. Um, somebody said she sent him a video of her in the new boot in the act. I believe it. Uh, that sounds like something she'd do if she's mad because she said when you basically when you mess with somebody over and over again, they will do unthinkable things to get you back. So here. She filed for divorce in September, dismissed it in November, gets pregnant with her son weeks later. Okay, he was conceived in de December. Now, part of the tea is that, and, and then this past December, she announced that she wanted to divorce him again. She was upset with him again. I'm going to play you that clip, which was truly heartbreaking. Oh, shoot. Yo, nope, this motherfucker nope, really likes to play over. games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident. I'm not. They like Start it over. You got to hear this from the beginning. Oh, this fucking my Because you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again. And she'll be like, watch, 
Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that I like to, yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass because of your bitch ass album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that I motherfucking hope your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I fuck I tell you something, you don't take shit serious. When I tell you she was done, that was in December. But I guess she wasn't all the way done. Because it took her until August to file for divorce. But let's be clear on what she was upset about. This was in December of 2023. Here is what she was mad about. So these girls, and I, I, I don't know if it's a girl on the left or going on the right. I don't care. One of these little girls is a little chick named Jade. Who is Jade? Her literal op. In 2022, Cardi B pled guilty to a misdemeanor assault because this girl was having an uh, affair with Offset and she had someone else beat the brakes off of her. Now, because she's too classy and can't just be squabbing, understandably, I thought it was really nice and kind of her friends, you know, to do so on her behalf. It was very queen pin of her. So, but the, the courts discovered that she orchestrated it, you know, to have her friends do, you know, her dirty work, which I tend to be mad at. Um, and so in turn, she pled guilty. And I believe it was December of 2022. She had to do community service. And then the other part of the agreement was that she could not be anywhere near this woman in the same uh, area of this woman or the other victim, which was the woman's friend, for three years. This is Offset's birthday party in December. Cardi B was upset because Offset invited Jay to his birthday party and then tried to play dumb about it. Here's the venue. Same venue. He's here and she's over there with her friends. Sir, we are not stupid. It says Jade, the woman that Offset cheated on Cardi with, over five years ago was spotted at his 32nd birthday party in Miami. They were at the venue with each other until 5 a.m. He tried to say, oh, I didn't know she was going to be there. Let me tell you something. You got money. You got money. You don't have just money. You have money. So in other words, you could have orchestrated security. Get that broad out here. And by the way, kick her in her bottom. Kick her, kick her out of here. Baby, if you love me, you are going to beat up my ops. Well, not you because men shouldn't hit women. But I know you got a cousin, you got a homegirl, you got that butch, that one butch person in your family. We all got one of them. They look like a boy, but they really a girl and they can fight real, real good. Sick them. Sick them. You know, I'm not advising that because I'm an attorney and that might be against the legal rules. But hypothetically, I'm saying, hypothetically. Um, oh, we only got 260 likes. Y'all hit that button. I'm just saying, like for me, that would tip me over the edge too. Now this was prior to her being pregnant. So that means she took him back and it ends up getting pregnant with the third one. But I wanna be clear that what this means in the legal context is if Cardi B would have showed up to her own husband's birthday party, she would have been arrested. See, the law doesn't care who got there first. So if, if, even if Cardi B had been partying da -da 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 -da, at Offset's table, and those girls come in and they're allowed in and they get to say, either of those girls could call the cops and be like, hey, I have a restraining order against her and she's here and she's supposed to be with me. The, the cops take Cardi to jail and ask questions later. That is like one of the most disloyal things. Somebody said, no, she was pregnant. With me. Okay, so I don't know. She, she may have been pregnant then as well. That might have also been, that, that's what I was thinking. It may have been why she did not, um, well, no, let me see. That was December. So the baby would be due if that was December, the baby would be due any day now, unless the baby comes late or something. So we'll find out when the baby's coming. But I also want, uh, who has to leave in that case? Cardi, the person with the restraining order against them is the only one who has to leave. The victim 
gets to go wherever they want. In fact, they can go. They can show up at the Golden Corral. You just got all your food from the buffet on your plate, and you got to leave your plate. You got to get on up out of there. Because all the police care about is are you there? In fact, I have a client who um, she was charged with burglary because she crawled through her baby daddy's window and saw him with somebody else and then beat her up. She was real. She was like a extra small. And that girl was like a extra large. It, but she, woo, she tore the brakes off that one. Anyway, she got a violation of probation because she one time called the baby dad and he put it on speaker and she heard um, the woman talking mess about her and what she would do and how she'd beat her up if she ever saw her again and stuff like that. And she was calling her baby daddy to tell him whatever about the kids and had no idea the phone was on speaker. So I say that to say they don't, they don't give the benefit of the doubt. Um, so Iris said, I'm glad she's over. So fast forward, she has a baby girl. Okay. So fast forward today, Cardi B done found her some man and let that man nut on the baby's head, if you know what I mean. You know, this is YouTube language. So y'all know what I mean. She didn't let that baby, she didn't let her new man nut all on the baby's head and offset feels kind of some type of way. But isn't that how they always do? He didn't think she was going to go anywhere. But also, the tea is this. Cardi is the one who has built their empire from that. What I mean by that is, of course, he makes good money, but he spends even more. So her philosophy is like, she's always scared kind of mentally of ever being broke and, you know, and go, having to not have, you know, all the opportunities that she has. So she's big on investing, real estate investing, this, that, and the third. Unless she forces it, he doesn't put his money towards any of those things. He puts his money towards bottles, parties, those things. So that's also been a part of the frustration of the relationship that combined with, it's one thing to cheat. It's another thing to cheat with my literal op the woman who got me almost locked up and taken away from our kids. And it's a whole different thing to cheat with what, who I thought was my friend. Both of y'all got to go. It's a special place in hell for that type of man. Um, yes, Electric Lady said, yes, she is the driven financial force. Hit that like, y'all. It says, it says, women who beat up other women when their man is in the, is the one in the relationship wrong are not, not being faithful, he'll always cheat. Oh yeah, because that's that's a great point, Southwest Houston, is that I've seen that like what men will do is they'll turn you two women against each other. So then now y'all are fighting and you, they get to be relieved from the situation. As long as you're mad at someone else, then they can hide over here and skedaddle on and they don't have to take the heat. Or even if there is heat, it's not as much as if they were your only target. So they like to turn the women against each other. Um, I'm also a big person. Like, don't call over here playing on my phone talking about your man, your man, your man. When you know good and well, you ain't going nowhere. Don't leave me out of this. Leave, if you want to leave me a voicemail, thank you. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But I've always noticed the women that call and say, you know, my man's been calling you X, Y, Z. They don't ever leave the man. Ever. So why are you bothering me? I'm going to leave. Uh, not because you told me to. I'm going to leave because this is stupid. And I got better things to do with my time. And I don't like AIDS. And that's what's going to happen if you keep playing around with these type of dirty dicks. Over and over again. Yes. Will he get alimony? No, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, In the prior divorce docs that uh, I put up, I'm going to put them back up here. No, I just need to make them a bit bigger. Um, will he get alimony? It, it, so one, they, it does not appear they had a prenup because there was no reference to requesting that the prenup be abided by. And two, no, I don't think he's going to get alimony because they, are, they have equal and similar earning potential. If you remember when I went over the Tyrese case, um, there we go. When I went over the Tyrese case, even though there was a prenup that entitled her to money, she did not receive any. And she didn't receive any in part because they found that she had gainful employment and that they in that she could easily get additional employment and they didn't believe that she needed to rely on, on him for any money. So similarly, you know, he makes millions, blah, blah, blah. The state of Georgia really does not play that, especially Fulton County. And actually, I think that's where Fulton or Gwinnett, I can't remember where Tyrese's case was as well. 
It says the women and the men are both wrong. They are. There's no such thing as the other woman bearing no blame. I agree. As women, we should realize that we are. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying when you as a woman are calling the other woman's phone, it's one thing to call because you want more facts so that you can make a decision. But I don't think that the point of the call should be simply to, I'm a, like, Barbara, this is Shirley. Like, it's more than that. It is so much more. Yep, we got those like. we're getting those likes up. So thank you, everyone. Um, there's a story in Houston of a man who dated two women. One had his child and the other was pregnant. He turned them against each other and one lost a foot and the other went to jail. Yeah, that sounds right. Every, those stories always end in Dateline. It's, it's really sad. Exactly. These women are not scared of STDs and STIs. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they think, you know, Magic Johnson cured AIDS and it's not for the rest of us. No, baby. I've been to the CVS Minute Clinic and the majority of people in there are getting tested for something that itches. It says Simone acting like she never slept with her homegirl's man in law school. Oh my God, I love this driver's seat. So driver's seat is a troll, is a total troll. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the engagement. I hope you hit that like button. Um, yes, please watch your wording and so forth. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Again, I'm your legal bestie, Attorney Simone. This is Girl, Is That Legal? Make sure you drop down below what other topics and stories do you want me to cover. Uh, of course, I love doing it. And um, I'm also going to break this, down vid this video down into separate segments. So if you just want to watch the Cardi B segment, you can do so. Take care and good night.